In this tutorial, we're going to work on some basic photo editing techniques in Craft Artist and DSA 2. In this picture of Hillary Clinton, the f what we're going to do first, we're going to be like uh, plastic surgeons and we're going to take a few years off of her. Uh, she doesn't necessarily need it, but uh, this is just for fun. We're going to go into the photo lab and we're going to choose under the filters we're going to go down to pro edit and we're going to choose depth of field and as you can see it it blurs the picture and we're going to use that to our advantage so create a mask by clicking on uh, the mask icon in DSA2 or this brush icon in Craft Artist and then select new mask. We're going to take our brush size down very small, maybe five, and our grow size down to zero. And now uh, we can zoom in a little bit to get a better feel of what we're doing. We're just going to just outline some of the um, lines and wrinkles and take a few years off. I wish it was that easy. Every morning just to go in and wash away the years. Now once we get all of this done then we can start working on some other features to give her a new look. So we're going to just target areas where lines and wrinkles seem to crop up in our face. Okay, I think that about does it. I'll do one more here. So if you've ever thought you'd like to be a plastic surgeon, now's a good time to practice. So I think I've done a good job with that. Now we can go to feather and feather it out about two or three pixels. That will keep it from having a defined edge. And we're going to expand it out uh, just a little bit, like two and we're going to now accept and as you can see her uh, lines and wrinkles have been greatly reduced and we can uh, work with these two keeping them down in this end of the spectrum if we want to fine tune that so basically that's finished and we're going to say OK and go back to our platform now the next thing, after anything you do um, as far as photo correction in Craft Artist or DSA2, you want to go to Tools and Convert to Bitmap and say OK. So next we're going to uh, work on some, we're going to be a dentist and we're going to clean up her teeth a little bit. So let's go to the Photo Lab again. And this time we're going to choose a filter from Pro Edit called Selective Color. And this is primarily the one we're going to be using today. We're going to create another mask. And take our grow size down. and our brush size I'll put it about two this is all you know you can play around with these it doesn't have to be exactly what I set it at we're going to uh, zoom in again get her teeth in full view and we're just going to start coloring in 
her teeth. If we mess up a little bit, of course, we can always go to the remove. By the way, this setting should be set to select the mode, and we're going to be mainly using the add brush unless we need to clean something else up, and then we'll use the delete brush. So now that the teeth have all been highlighted, we again go to feather and two or three pixels should be enough and expand just a couple and we'll go to accept and this time we can see that uh, this channel has been selected and we have different colors so we're going to go to the color channel that's most like the color that we're working with which of course is is white and we're going to start working with that color to get the teeth where we want it to be so we're going to take the yellow down and then the black down a little bit and you can see her teeth are getting whiter so you kind of work with it to get it the shade that you want the more black, the darker. You can see, so we're going to be a little left of center. And the yellow, we'll, you can work with that to get a more natural look. You want to just leave these two alone. Once you get it to where you like it, you want to just say OK. And her teeth are now whiter. If they're not, you know, if you can see there's a slight difference in color between these two teeth, if you want to fix that, you can just go to Tools, Convert to Bitmap. Again, every time you do a uh, mass change, you need to follow this process. And we can go then back into the Photo Lab. and do the same thing all over again. We'll go to Pro Edit, Selective Color, Create a Mask, And this time we'll just focus on the teeth that we want to get a little brighter. And these on this end. You can see now you're able to make them as white as the teeth next to them. So now that I think that we have a uniform color in her teeth, I can say OK. So the next thing we're going to change is her eyeshadow color because we're going to give her a different color jacket to brighten up her look. So Again, the ne after we do any kind of change in color, we need to go and select the image, go to Tools, Convert to Bitmap, and OK. We'll go back into the Photo Lab, choose Pro Edit, 
selective color, <clears throat> create a mask, new mask, take these down. Sometimes it's a little difficult to work with that. And we're going to zoom in to her eyes. I'll increase this a little bit. We get her eye region. Clean up this area. And then we'll come over and do this eye as well. Once we have all that painted in, we can then um, increase our feather. What this basically does again is just to kind of blend it into the rest of the picture. And the expand just kind of takes it out a couple pictures, pixels from where I did to make sure everything's covered. And we're going to say accept. And this time we'll see the channel is red. And we're going to change it to neutrals because that's closest to the color of the brown that is her current eyeshadow. So we're going to take it to neutral and we will work with these colors to get them. I'm, I'm looking for like a cornflower blue. So uh, I'm going to work with the cyan and uh, really not much magenta. I'll take the yellow down. Most of the you just play around with these sliders till you get what you're looking for. And then uh, basically the black's going to make things darker or lighter so uh, once you get it to the color you want then this is basically working with uh, the shade or tint of that color. I'm going to go right about there. That looks good. Once you get your colors just right you're going to say OK and then you can go to Tools and convert to bitmap. So now we have her eyeshadow color and we'll do the same with the lips. I'll just do that real quick. keep a red and we're going to create the mask
feather it, expand it, and accept it. Now, of course, we're going to be working with the reds. And play around with the shade here. And really, it's it's a matter of preference. You can find what other whatever color you want. I'm going with this shade, and I, again with the uh, black, I can make it as dark or as light. I think I'm going to work just a little right of center. I think she's got a little bit of a spring look. So now that I have her lip color finished, I'm going to say OK. And then, of course, go into Tools and Convert to Bitmap. 